English Language Academy. Practice makes perfect. Listen and practice. Hi, my name's Camila Torres, and I'm from the United States. This is a photo of my family. Our house is in Miami. This is my brother. His name is Ricardo, and he's 14. He's in middle school. This is my mother. Her name's Ana Sofia. She's 45, and she's a Spanish teacher. And this is my father, Antonio. He's 51, and he's a businessman. Listen and practice. Hi, everyone. I'm Jerry, and I'd like to talk to you about a problem I had. I used to be a workaholic. But don't worry, I'm okay now. I had my own business, and I did well. In fact, I was swamped with work. Whenever anyone asked me to go to the movies or out to dinner, I always asked for a rain check. I always stayed in my office late because I kept saying, "Well, I'll get one more thing over with," and I never took a day off. It didn't make a difference if I was sick. I still went to work, and I have to be honest. Every day when I woke up, I really looked forward to going to the office. Then one day, my family told me that I needed help. I asked them what they had in mind—a psychiatrist—and they told me that I needed to talk to somebody, not necessarily a psychiatrist. Because I didn't have a healthy life, wow, was I surprised to hear this. I thought about what they said, and kept going back and forth about getting some help. Then my son talked me into making an appointment. Well, I was lucky to get really good advice. Now I'm through with being a workaholic. I still work, but I spend more time with my family and friends. After all, they are the most important people in my life. Listen and practice. Healthy eating. Most of us would like to live a long and healthy life. Increasingly, doctors are telling us that in order to do so, we must eat a healthy diet. Too often, we ignore the advice. In most countries of the developed world, there is no shortage of food, but their inhabitants could be suffering from a form of malnutrition. This is something that we are accustomed to associate with poor countries, which regularly suffer from famine, caused by primitive agricultural methods and overpopulation. The problem in the developed countries is that all too many of us are eating food which is far from being nutritious. And which is lacking in many of the vitamins essential to health. Because of our busy way of life, we rely too much on convenience foods, not taking the time to prepare a nourishing meal for ourselves. Instead, we grab something from the supermarket shelves or freezer and put it in the microwave. Even when we decide to eat in a restaurant, many of us decide that we have very little time, and that our food must be served instantly. It is for this reason that there are, in many countries, 
So many restaurants that specialize in serving fast food. Unfortunately, much of this food is also junk food. And even more unfortunately, many children have become addicted to this, refusing to eat healthier alternatives. In general, we are eating too much processed food and not enough whole food. Ideally, we should eat more cereal products in order to increase our intake of fiber, since there is some evidence that this reduces the risk of certain cancers. Antioxidants, too, are thought to have some effect in preventing cancer, and these are found in significant quantities in fruit and vegetables. Formerly, it was considered important to eat plenty of eggs and dairy products to remain healthy. Such foods are now known to be high in cholesterol, which can be a contributory factor in heart disease. Fashions in healthy eating may have changed, but the message remains the same. Watch what you eat. Listen and practice. On the moon. On the moon, there's dust and rock. There are tall mountains and big holes called craters. There's black space all around, and no blue sky. There's no weather because there's no sky. It's hot in the day, and it's cold at night. Astronauts can go to the moon. This astronaut is on the moon. How amazing! He has a spacesuit, and he breathes air from a tank. Footprints are on the moon for a million years. There's no wind to blow them away. Listen and practice. Mountains. Mountains are high places on Earth. Earth has a crust. Earth's crust moves very, very slowly. It can move up and make mountains. Mountains are very high. Mount Everest is about eight thousand eight hundred and fifty meters high. Mountains are very old too. Some mountains are millions of years old. Volcanoes are mountains. A volcano is a hole in Earth's crust. Under Earth's crust. There's hot rock. The hot rock comes out of the volcano. Volcanoes can be dangerous. Listen and practice. Where fruit grows. All around the world, there are different types of fruit. Some fruit is big, and some fruit is little. Bananas, apples, and oranges 
are types of fruit. Do you like to eat fruit? What is your favorite fruit? Fruit grows on plants. Trees are a type of plant. Some types of fruit grow on big trees. Apples, oranges, peaches, and mangoes grow on big trees. Some mango trees are very tall. Some types of fruit grow on little plants. Some fruit plants grow on the ground. Strawberry plants grow on the ground. Listen and practice. Living in the mountains can be difficult for people. High in the mountains, there aren't any big roads. Some people don't have a car. They use animals for transportation. High in the mountains, some people don't have electricity. People use rocks from the mountains to make their homes. In the mountains, people grow food near their homes. Some people make terraces and they grow food there. On some terraces, there's lots of water. People grow rice in the water. Listen and practice. Different fruit. There are many different types of fruit. Fruit can be green, red, orange, yellow, white, purple, blue, or black. Fruit can be long or short, oval or round. Different types of fruit grow in different places. Bananas and mangoes grow in hot, rainy places. Lemons and oranges grow in hot places. Apples and strawberries grow in cool places. What fruit grows where you live? Listen and practice. Fruit is good for you. Fruit is good for your heart, eyes, and skin. Fruit is good for your body. It can stop you getting sick. Fruit helps you to walk, run, play, learn, and grow. You can eat fruit when you are hungry. You can eat fruit when you are thirsty, too. Fruit has water inside. It stops you being thirsty. It's good to eat two or three different types of fruit every day. Listen and practice. Summer sports. In summer, 
Some people climb mountains. Climbers have a helmet and a rope. Climbing is a difficult sport. Climbers have strong arms and legs. Climbers find good rocks for their hands and feet. Mountain biking is a summer sport. Mountain bikes have big, strong wheels. The wheels are good on rocks. Rafting is a great summer sport. For rafting, people have a helmet and a life jacket. Rafts are very strong. They can go over rocks in the water. Listen and practice. Food and drink. We use soft fruit to make jam. We use fruit to make cakes and cookies too. Olives and tomatoes are types of fruit. We use tomatoes to make pizza. We press olives to make olive oil. We use olive oil to cook food. We press some fruit to make fruit juice. Do you like to drink orange, apple, or pineapple juice? We mix some fruit with milk or ice cream to make milkshakes. Listen and practice. Sometimes my mother gives me advice. She tells me to save my money for a rainy day. She says that I should eat my vegetables if I want to be strong when I grow up. She says that you reap what you sow. I didn't know what that one meant, so I asked her. She said that if you are good to people, they will be good to you. If you do bad things, then bad things will come back to you. My mother is always giving me advice. She says that a penny saved is a penny earned. I am still thinking about that one. Some of these things are difficult to understand. My mother is very wise. She says that she has learned from her mistakes. She tells me that she would like me not to make mistakes, but she says that everyone does make mistakes. The important thing is that we learn from our mistakes. My mother says that nobody is perfect. My mother tells my sister that time is precious. My sister wastes time, and my mother doesn't like that. My mother tells me to be true to myself. She says that I should not follow the crowd. I should listen to my own conscience and do what I think is right. She says that it doesn't matter if you fail at something. The important thing is that you try. If you've done your best, then that is all that matters. I listen to my mother. I think she gives very good advice. My mother has a lot of common sense. I hope I am as wise as she is when I have children of my own. Sometimes I wish that she would not give me so much advice. I think that I know what I'm doing, but in the end, I always remember what she has said, and I try to live by the standards that she has set for me. Take the advice that your parents give you; they only have your best interests at heart. Listen and practice. Winter sports.
Can you ski? Lots of children go skiing in the mountains in winter. They go with their family or with their school. Snowboarding is a winter sport too. Snowboarding is difficult. Snowboarders fall in the snow a lot. Good snowboarders can do amazing tricks. Do you like walking in the mountains? You can walk in snowshoes. Snowshoes are big so you can walk on the snow. Sledding is a great sport. You can go very fast on a sled. Listen and practice. Water in the desert. Deserts are very dry places, but all deserts have some water. An oasis is a place where water from under the ground makes a lake or pond. Some oases are small, but some are very big. The Siwa oasis in Egypt is 80 kilometers long and 20 kilometers across. About 23,000 people live here. Some deserts have rivers. The Nile River travels through the Sahara Desert. Many people live near this river. They can catch fish and use the water for farming. In some deserts, there are big rainstorms. Then there's no more rain for a long time. So it's very important to collect rainwater. In the Tar Desert, people collect water in ponds, wells, and big tanks. People in some cold deserts use nets to collect the water from fog. Each net can catch about 14 liters of water every day. Listen and practice. Trees are all around us, in forests, gardens, and parks. There are many different trees, and they give us many things. What is a tree? A tree is a tall plant. It has leaves, branches, a trunk, and roots. A tree makes its food with light from the sun. It grows tall so it can get lots of light. A tree grows every day. Look at this old tree trunk. How old is it? Count the rings. Every ring is one year. Listen and practice. Trees are good for us. We use oxygen in the air to live. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for us. Trees clean the air. They take carbon dioxide out of the air and they put oxygen into the air. Trees protect us from the rain and the light from the sun. 
Trees are good for the ground too. The roots make the ground strong. The ground around trees isn't dry, so other plants can grow. Listen and practice. Fun at the beach. You can do many things at the beach. You can kite surf, and the wind moves you on the ocean. You can snorkel too. Then you can see amazing fish in the water. The ocean is big and strong. Don't go away from the people you know. Look for flags. They tell you where and when you can swim. Have fun at the beach. But remember the ocean plants and animals. Keep the beach clean for plants, animals, and other people. Listen and practice. Desertification. Deserts are getting bigger. Every year, the land around many deserts gets dry and changes into new desert. This is called desertification. The land can get too dry when there's no rain for a long time. Sometimes people also make the land dry. When there are too many farms in one place. Animals eat all the plants, and the soil blows away. Then new plants can't grow, and there isn't food for everyone. Listen and practice. Desertification is a big problem in countries in Africa. Near the Sahara Desert, in fifty years, these countries have lost six hundred and fifty thousand square kilometers of land. That's about the same size as France. Millions of people here are hungry because they can't grow food in the desert. How can people help to stop desertification? In many countries. People are growing more trees. Trees stop the soil blowing away. In China, people are using a wall of trees to stop desertification near the Gobi Desert. The wall is four thousand kilometers long. Listen and practice. Plants and people. Plants give us food and oxygen, but we need plants for lots of other things too. Our clothes, books, and many other things come from plants. Lots of our doors, chairs, and tables. Are made of wood. Our erasers and bicycle tires are made of rubber. Wood and rubber come from trees. We need plants to keep us healthy too. Lots of the medicines that we use come from plants. Listen and practice.
jobs at night. You sleep at night, but some people do jobs at night. Many doctors and nurses work at night. Some stores and factories are open all night, so people have to work there. In the day, people buy lots of food from stores. At night, store workers put more food in the stores. Cities are busy at night. People go out to meet friends. Or to see a movie. When they go home, they can take a taxi. Taxi drivers are busy at night. Listen and practice. My father used to smoke. He got very ill. The doctor told him that he had to quit smoking. My father tried for a long time to quit. It was very difficult for him. Smoking is an addiction. After many months, my father finally gave up smoking, but he still craved a cigarette once in a while. He says that quitting smoking is the hardest thing that he has ever done. When my father did smoke, he smoked everywhere. He smoked in restaurants, stores, and many public buildings. Now, you are not allowed to smoke in a lot of public places. When my father smoked, the rules were not so strict. People could smoke just about anywhere. It really wasn't fair to the people who didn't smoke. Their clothes always smelled like smoke and they breathed in secondhand smoke. Some people think that the secondhand smoke is actually worse for you than if you smoke yourself. People would smoke in their houses and very young children would inhale the smoke that was in the air. Some people still smoke in their houses and their children breathe in the smoke. Some restaurants have areas for smokers and non smokers, but usually the smoke drifts from one area to the other. There are some businesses that have banned smoking altogether. Personally, I think that smoking in public places should be completely banned. I don't think that I should have to breathe in another person's smoke if I choose not to smoke myself. It wouldn't be fair for a non smoker to get lung cancer because they had to be in a place where smokers were allowed to light up. I know that smoking is a powerful addiction and that it is very difficult to quit, but smokers should restrict their smoking to places where there is nobody else around. Lung cancer is an awful disease. Nobody should have to suffer with lung cancer. People should be educated about the dangers of smoking. Smoking should be banned in public places, but eventually I would like to believe that fewer people will smoke. It would be nice to live in a smoke free environment. Listen and practice. Water activities. We use a lot of water outside the home. We need water for the food we eat. Meat comes from animals, and animals drink water. Fruits and vegetables also need water to grow. We need water to travel. We can travel by ship and by boat. 
We can also make power with water. Hydroelectricity is electricity made from water. We have fun with water. We like to go to the beach in the summer. We also like to visit rivers and lakes. Lots of sports need water. Sailing, surfing, swimming, water skiing, and diving all use water. Which water sports do you like? Listen and practice. Energy is incredible because we use it for everything that we do. Energy can make things work, make things move, and make things happen. People use energy to work and to play. When people do things like cook food, listen to music, and use a lamp, they are using heat energy, sound energy, and light energy. Energy is everywhere, and energy is in everything. We can't make energy, and we can't destroy it. When we use energy to make something happen, we don't lose it. It becomes a different type of energy. Listen and practice. Tourists. It's fun to be a tourist in a city. There are lots of things to do. You can go to a park, a museum, or a zoo. You can ride on a bus and listen to a guide. It's good to walk around a city, too. You can take photos of the streets and buildings. In some cities, there are lakes. You can swim there and have fun. In Udaipur, in India, there's a big lake. You can ride in a boat on the lake. In Hanoi, in Vietnam, you can ride in a rickshaw and see the city. Listen and practice. Light. When something is luminous, it gives off light. Lamps, candles, fires, televisions, and the sun are luminous. Light energy travels from luminous things in straight lines. Light can move through transparent things like air, water, and windows. It can't move through opaque things like walls, trees, or people. Shadows happen when something opaque stops light moving through it. Shadows happen on the other side of an opaque thing where light can't reach. For example, when we stand outside on a sunny day, we block the sunlight and we make a shadow. Some transparent materials can make a thin shadow because they stop some light. Listen and practice. Bicycles. The first bicycles were made of wood. Then, after 1850, they were made of metal. Early bicycles, called high wheel bicycles, were uncomfortable because they had no tires. The front wheel was very big, and there were no gears or brakes. Cyclists often crashed. Modern bicycles are safer because they have brakes 
and their wheels are both the same size. They also have rubber tires, so they are comfortable. People cycle to work or school and for fun and sport. Bicycles are good because they don't produce pollution. Listen and practice. Fruit and animals. Many animals eat fruit. Birds, monkeys, and mice eat fruit. They eat it in the trees and on the ground. Many animals eat little fruit seeds. Animals don't eat very big fruit seeds. Some animals carry fruit to a new place. Then they eat it. They drop fruit seeds on the ground. New plants grow from the seeds. It's good for plants to grow in a new place. Listen and practice. What job do you want to do? Do you like singing or dancing? Do you play music or do you play soccer? You can do these things at school or in your free time. Some people do these things for a job. That's how they make money. These soccer players are working. These musicians are working. They are playing instruments. People pay money to watch the musicians. These people are making a movie. The actors act in the movie. The camera operator uses the camera. The director tells them what to do. There are so many jobs. Listen and practice. Many big cities are by an ocean. They have a harbor for ships. Ships bring materials for new buildings. Ships bring tourists, too. There's a big harbor in Sydney in Australia. There are nice apartments and restaurants by the harbor. Sydney is a big city, but it has lots of parks and trees. Ships can come to a city by river, too. Many cities are on big rivers. In these cities, you can find great bridges. There are bridges for people, cars, and trains. Listen and practice. It's great to walk in a city, but you can't walk everywhere. Many people in cities use transportation. Lots of people come to cities by car, so there are traffic jams. Cars make pollution. Cars are not a good type of transportation 
in big cities. Trams are a good type of transportation. They run on tracks, and they don't make pollution. Lots of cities have underground trains. Underground trains are fast. Thousands of people use them every day. Some underground stations are very deep. Listen and practice. What my cat did. One day I was sitting in a chair drinking a cup of tea. My cat came into the room and sat on my lap. She was quite content and she sat there purring. My cat likes to drink water, and sometimes she drinks milk. I would never give her tea to drink. Cats just don't drink tea. We were sitting there quietly when suddenly my cat stood up. She was looking at something on the floor. She crouched down low and got ready to pounce. I saw what she was looking at. It was a huge centipede. I think that centipedes are ugly. They have many legs and they move very fast. I would hate to have one crawl over me. My cat jumped to the floor and she ran over to the centipede. She was incredibly fast. I was surprised that she caught the centipede. She put her paw on it and then she reached down and ate the centipede. The centipede must not have tasted very good. My cat got a funny look on her face, and she looked like she was trying to get a bad taste out of her mouth. I was thinking that I would be sick if I ate a centipede. My cat looked at me and jumped back up in my chair. She stuck her face in my teacup and took a big drink of tea. I was shocked. I had never seen a cat drink tea before. I think that the centipede must have tasted so bad that my cat just needed something to wash the taste out of her mouth. Guess what? I didn't finish my tea. I threw it out and washed out the cup. My cat has never had a drink of tea since that day. She has also never eaten another centipede. If a centipede walks by. She just pretends that she doesn't see it. Listen and practice. The gasoline in our cars comes from plants and very small animals that lived three hundred or four hundred million years ago. Very slowly, mud and rocks covered them, and they changed into oil. Gasoline is made from this oil. Today, people are also using plants to make other fuels, like ethanol and biodiesel. We can make plastic from plants. Sometimes. There is plant plastic in our cell phones, computers, or even our socks. Listen and practice. Plant parts. A flowering plant has four main parts: leaves, stems, roots, and flowers. The roots hold the plant in the soil. They take water and minerals from the soil. The leaves make food for the plant. The stems take water from the roots to the leaves. They also take food from the leaves to other parts of the plant. The stems support the plant too. 
The flowers make seeds, and new plants grow from these seeds. Listen and practice. Animals grow and change during their life. To produce young, some animals have babies and others lay eggs. These young animals then grow up and produce young too. This journey from being born to producing young is called a life cycle. Animal life cycles are amazing. There are millions of different species of animal in the world. Some animals, like the blue whale, are very big. Others are so small that we almost can't see them. These animals all have very different life cycles. Listen and practice. Mammals. Mammals are the only animals that give birth to their young. They don't lay eggs like fish, amphibians, reptiles, or birds do. Mammal mothers are special because they produce milk for their babies to drink. Today, we can find many different types of mammal. Some live on land, like horses. Camels and monkeys. Others live in the ocean, like whales and dolphins. Bats are special because they are the only mammals that can fly. Did you know that you are a mammal too? Listen and practice. Hot. Places. A lot of hot places on Earth are near the equator. Near the equator, the light from the sun is strong. It's often hot in summer and in winter. There are many hot deserts near the equator. Monument Valley is in a desert in the USA. It's very hot and sunny there. There are weeks and months with no rain. In some very hot places in summer, there's no water in the rivers. Plants and fish can't live there. Listen and practice. Snow sports. In Nunavut, in the north of Canada. Winter is from September to June, so there's a lot of time for snow sports. Skiing and tobogganing are very popular. Dog sledding is another exciting snow sport. The driver sits in the sled, and the dogs pull it over the snow. Every year, there is a big dog sled race. In Dubai. In the United Arab Emirates, the summer is very hot. It's even warm in winter, but it's still a good place for snow sports. Dubai has the biggest snow dome in the world. People come here for skiing, snowboarding, and tobogganing. It's very, very cold in the snow dome, but it's much hotter outside. The snow dome is in the desert. Listen and practice.
Sound and light are types of energy that travel in the air. We use sound energy to hear, to listen to music, and to communicate by telephone. We use light energy from the sun to see during the day, and light from lamps to see when it's dark. Sound happens when something vibrates. When we hit a drum, it vibrates, and this makes the air around the drum vibrate too. The vibrations of sound travel through the air in all directions. These movements are called sound waves. Sound waves are invisible. We can't see them. We hear the sound of the drum when the sound waves reach our ears. Listen and practice. Radio waves. Sounds lose energy and get weaker when they move. That's why we can only hear people speaking if they are near us. To send sounds from one place to another, sound waves are converted into radio waves. Radio waves are a type of energy that can travel a long distance through the air. Like sound waves, radio waves are invisible. When you use a cell phone, the phone converts sound waves into radio waves. It sends the radio waves to a cell tower near you. The cell tower sends them to a base station that sends them on to a cell tower near the person you are calling. Their cell phone converts the radio waves back into sound waves so that they can hear you. Listen and practice. Lasers. A laser is a type of light that we get from machines. It's a very thin beam of light that has a lot of light energy and heat energy. Lasers have more energy than sunlight. We use lasers in many machines, like CD players and DVD players. Lasers have so much energy that some factories use them to cut through metal, and doctors use lasers to operate on some parts of the body, like eyes. In clothes factories, people use lasers to cut through hundreds of pieces of fabric at the same time. Listen and practice. Superstitions. I am not superstitious, are you? Yesterday was Friday the 13th. Some people think that Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. I think that it is just like any other day. Some people believe that if a black cat crosses your path, you will have bad luck. I don't believe that either. My mother always gets upset if I open an umbrella in the house. She says that is bad luck. She is probably right about that one because an open umbrella would take up a lot of space and you might knock things over. If your left hand is itchy, you are supposed to get money. I have had an itchy left hand before, but I haven't received any money because of it. It is bad luck to walk under a ladder. That is probably true. Because you might knock somebody off the ladder or have a can of paint fall on top of you. If you are acting in a play, it is bad luck if someone says good luck to you. This is very confusing. You are supposed to tell an actor to break a leg. It doesn't mean that you want the actor to break his leg, it means good luck to the actor. Actors have a lot of superstitions that are very unusual. I 
I am not superstitious. I don't believe in superstitions at all. It is just fun to learn about superstitions. Some of them are very old and have been passed down from generation to generation. I once did a project at school on superstitions. It was a very interesting topic and I got a good mark for it. Listen and practice. Thank you. Fall is a season of festivals all around the world. It's the season of the harvest. Farmers cut the crops and pick the fruit. After the harvest, people want to say thank you for the good things in the world. In South Korea, there's a big festival called Chuseok in September or October. Families eat traditional food, like rice cakes. Sometimes people also dance. In the USA, the Festival of Thanksgiving is in November. In Canada, it's in October. People have dinner with their family. They eat turkey and pumpkin pie. In Europe, there are lots of festivals after the harvest. In Poland, girls wear crowns made of flowers. They dance and sing songs. In Italy, people wear traditional costumes and they dance with wreaths. The wreaths are made of wheat. Listen and practice. At the game. Basketball is the most popular team sport in the USA. Many students are in school or college teams. Lots of other people play the game in their free time, on courts or in their gardens. Basketball is a fast game. It's fun to play, and it's fun to watch. People like to support their friends or family at the games. They also watch their favorite team on television. Basketball is very popular in China. About 300 million people play it, and 450 million people watch it on television. Listen and practice. Scouting. Scouting started in the United Kingdom in 1907. The first scouts were boys from 11 to 18 years old. They went camping and walking in their free time. They learned how to read maps and make fires. Today, scouting isn't only for boys. Anyone from 6 to 25 years old can be a scout. Scouts still go camping and walking, but there are lots of other exciting activities. Scouts can do land activities like climbing and skateboarding and water activities like sailing, kayaking, and snorkeling. Sometimes they can even do air activities like paragliding. Scouts have fun, but they also work together to help other people and the countryside. Do you have scouts in your country?
Listen and practice. Greg is a waiter, and Sophia is a teacher's assistant in an elementary school. Sophia gets up at 7:30 a.m. and takes a shower. She has breakfast at eight, and then she walks to school. She starts work at 8:40. Greg gets up at 11 and takes a shower. He doesn't have breakfast because he has lunch at 12. He leaves home at 5:30 and goes to work by bus. He starts work at six. Sophia finishes work at 3:45 and walks home. Sophia and Greg have a very early dinner at five. They cook and they chat until Greg leaves for work. Sophia relaxes at home until about 7:30. Then she goes to Greg's restaurant for an hour. She goes home at about nine, watches TV until 10:30, then she goes to bed. Greg arrives home at about 1:30 in the morning. He has a glass of milk and goes to bed at two. Listen and practice. Free time is very important. It's good for you to do something different after school or work. It's also fun. Many of our favorite free time activities are popular all around the world. Cycling. Is a very popular free time activity all around the world. In the Netherlands, about 85 percent of people go cycling. Most of the land is flat, so it's a good place to cycle. It's also very safe. There are 17,000 kilometers of cycle paths, and most of the time, cars have to wait for bicycles. Listen and practice. Homes. We build different homes in different ways. To build an apartment block, people make shapes for the floors and columns from long pieces of steel. Then people put wood around the shapes, and they put a liquid called concrete in them. When the concrete becomes hard like stone, they take the wood away. People build walls to make the rooms in each apartment. They put wires in the walls to carry electricity. And they put pipes in the walls and floors to carry water. They often fix tiles on the floors and on the walls in the bathroom and kitchen. They put plaster on the walls. Then they can paint the walls. Listen and practice. Cars. To make a car, people use a metal called steel to make a strong chassis. People also use steel to make big shapes for the outside of the car. Then robots fix the outside to the chassis. A conveyor moves the chassis around the car factory, and people fix many parts on the chassis.
Later, other machines paint the car. Then people fix other parts on the car, like the engine, doors, wheels, and seats for people to sit on. There are about thirty-five thousand parts in a car. Around the world, people make forty-eight million cars every year. This uses lots of steel. We can recycle steel from old cars and use it again. Listen and practice. Do you like noodles or chocolate? Do you know how people make this food? People make noodles from grains like rice or wheat. To make rice noodles, people grind rice into flour. Then they mix flour with water to make dough. In factories, machines push dough through holes. To make noodles, some people make noodles by hand. They pull the dough between their fingers. Listen and practice. To make chocolate, people take seed pods from cacao trees. And leave them in the sun. Then they throw away the outside and keep the seeds. Machines grind and heat the seeds, and then the seeds become a liquid. Then people cook this liquid with sugar, and sometimes milk. They put the liquid in molds to make chocolate bars. Listen and practice. Jade is a soccer player. San Antonio is her favorite city. She loves it there. Next October, she's in Sydney for a soccer game. She's married to a Brazilian. They have two daughters and a baby son. Thursday is their favorite day. Listen and practice. When I grow up, I'm going to be a soccer player, a really good one. I'm on the school team and I play three times a week. But I'm going to train very hard every day so I can be really, really good. First, I'm going to play for a major league soccer team. Then. I'm going to travel all over the world, and I'm going to be famous. I'm not going to marry until I'm very old, about twenty-five. Then I want to have two sons. I'm going to play soccer until I'm thirty-five. That's a very long time, and I'm going to teach my sons to play. I want them to be famous soccer players too. Listen and practice. Fuels for energy. Coal, oil, and gas are fossil fuels. We use fossil fuels and nuclear fuels to make electricity. We use fossil fuels to heat homes and to power cars, buses, and trucks. Fossil fuels are made from plants and animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Coal was made like this. When giant plants in ancient jungles died, they sank into mud.
Slowly, over millions of years, the mud became hard and changed into rock. The heavy rock pressed down on the plants, and heat from inside Earth helped to change the plants into black coal. Oil and gas were also made like this, but they come from animals that lived in ancient oceans. Listen and practice. Things from trees. Apples, oranges, bananas, nuts, and lots of other fruit grow on trees. We get rubber from trees, too. We make car tires and many other things with rubber. The trunks and branches of trees give us wood. We make toys, tables, homes, and many other things with wood. We make paper with wood. We use wood to make fires, too. Listen and practice. When I retire next year, I'm going to retire early. I'm not going to stay at home and watch TV. I'm going to try lots of new things. First, I want to go mountain climbing. In fact, I want to climb Mount Everest, so I'm going to train very hard for that. I'm going to learn to scuba dive, too, because I want to go scuba diving in Australia. There are so many things I want to do. I'm going to travel all over the world. Then... I'm going to write a book about my adventures. I want to call it Life Begins at 60. In my book, I'm going to tell other retired people to try new things, too. You are only as old as you feel. Listen and practice. Homes in trees. Many birds, insects, and other animals live in trees. Animals can find food there. Trees protect animals from the wind and rain. Trees can protect animals from other animals, too. This monkey lives in a tree. It eats leaves and fruit from the tree. It can move from branch to branch. This snake lives in a tree, too. It likes its home. It can find birds to eat there. Foxes and other big animals can't catch the snake in the tree. Listen and practice. Protect trees. Some animals and little plants are bad for trees. Animals eat the leaves and bark. Little plants 
grow around the trunk. Then the tree can't get water. People are bad for trees too. Cars, fires, and factories can make the air and rain dirty. Then the trees can't grow. Some people cut down trees. They take wood, and they make new things on the land. Every day, people cut down about ten million trees. Let's stop this. Let's grow new trees. Let's protect trees. Listen and practice. Glass. Glass is one of the best materials for recycling because we can recycle it again and again. We use most recycled glass to make new glass things, like glass bottles. Sometimes we can see it in buildings because we can use recycled glass to make walls and windows. Glass is made from sand. To make glass, people make sand very, very hot so that it melts. Recycled glass doesn't have to get so hot to melt. So it's good to make new glass from recycled glass because we save energy. At a glass recycling factory, people sort the glass into different colors. Then, Machines break the glass into small pieces. Other machines clean the glass. Magnets take out any metal, and air blows off any plastic and paper. Then the glass is made into much smaller pieces. Other factories melt the very small pieces of glass to make new glass things. Listen and practice. Why do we wear clothes? Let's think about clothes: jeans, t-shirts, dresses, and sweaters. You can find these clothes in most countries around the world. We wear clothes because we want to be comfortable. We wear clothes because we want to look good. Do we always wear the same clothes? Of course not. We wear different clothes when we do different things. Are you wearing your best clothes today? Maybe not. We wear good clothes at school, but we wear better clothes at parties or on important days. Weddings are very important days. The people are wearing beautiful clothes. They are made of an expensive fabric called silk. Wedding clothes are different in different countries, but one thing is the same. Everywhere, people wear their best clothes on the most important days. Listen and practice. Livestock farmers. Livestock farmers raise animals like cows and sheep to produce food. 
These animals give us meat and dairy products like milk, cheese, and butter. The animals often live in open pastures where they eat grass and other plants. Some farmers have to travel long distances with their animals to find green pastures. Some farm animals, like chickens, are raised in closed yards. This keeps them together and protects them. Farmers sometimes build houses called coops where the chickens can sleep and lay their eggs.